Hi, welcome back to Daily Mix. Today's Pixie Woo Masterclass is on eyes. Let's get started. We're going to start on Polly. She's got lovely green eyes. So I've chosen a product from Chanel, and this is number 86, Illusion Jom. I'm using a synthetic brush to apply this. Right, close your eyes and head up for me. Now the reason Sam has chosen to use a synthetic brush is because the product that she's using is quite a cream to powder. So this is going to help it blend better. It's also going to wash the brush up much nicer afterwards. The colour I've chosen to use has a kind of reddish undertone to the brown there. And because red is opposite green on the colour wheel, they're going to intensify each other. They're complementary colours. So Obviously, you're not going to want to wear a red eyeshadow, but you can get away with a brown with a bit of a red undertone to it. Nick, can I have a blending brush, please? Of course you can. 217. Thank there you very you much. I'm keeping this really simple and just using one colour, just as a wash. Just look right up for me. I'm going to take a little bit of this under the eye. Now, ordinarily, you wouldn't take a red eyeshadow around or under the eye, firstly because the pigments in it can upset the eye, but also because it would look quite unflattering, like you've been crying. But a brown with quite a lot of red in, it's just that bit more easy to wear. Right, Nick, can I have an eyeliner pencil, please? You can. Thank Let's you. Avon Super Shock in black. Look up for me. Berry. I'm just going to run this along the waterline very gently. And the other eye. And this blackberry colour is another one of those lovely warm browns. So that's Avon Super Shock gel liner in the colour blackberry. And it is so soft, so perfect for going on the waterline inside the eye. Right, here we go. Okay, on Gemma. Nick, could you pass me what I've got at the back there? <laughs> which I've forgotten. Okay, I have got for you here Paint Pot in Quite Natural. Thank you very much. You can probably see from the colour here that this is a brown with an orangey undertone. That makes it perfect for blue eyes because blue and orange are complementary colours. So we're going to start by popping that all over the lid. Thanks, Nick. No problem. Now this colour goes on really dark, but as it dries it gets lighter. Could I have a uh, 217 please, Nick? Thank just you. Just grabbing you one. I'm just going to blend those edges. See, you could be mistaken. When you buy this one, it's called Quite Natural. And then when you put it on, you think, that is not natural, but it does lighten up as it sets. Okay, now I'm taking my teddy pencil, I'm just going to run it along the lash line as well. Look up for me. Well done, Gemma. Being super careful because Gemma has contact lenses in. Perfect, well done. And I'm going to run it just along the underneath as well and then give it a little blend. Now, I'm just going to use some eyelash curlers on Gemma. So, does that feel okay, Gemma? Mm -hmm. Still feel okay? Mm -hmm. I'm giving them a bit of a squeeze now. When using eyelash curlers, it's really important that you have no mascara on because they will stick to them and pull your lashes out. Also, check that the actual, um, what's it called, applicator is completely clean. Otherwise, if that's got mascara on, it will pull them out as well. Can I have a mascara, please, Nick? <laughs> yes, I have. This is a new one, so you can use it straight from there. Oh, great. Bourgeois. Bourgeois. I like the bourgeois mascaras. Look down for me. That's great. Oh, I didn't have to put any mascara on Polly because she already had some on. You probably noticed. But I thought I'd mention it anyway. Gemma has those lovely eyes that are really big and when she looks up it makes it very easy for me to put the bottom mascara on. And again, right up.
There we go. Right, that's a quick one for blue eyes. Now let's go straight on to brown eyes. Can I have an eyeshadow? Yes, I have got for you... Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, good. <laughs> it's Catrice and this is... It's kind of like a silvery brown. It's not really a brown, is it, if I'm honest? It's a kind of greyish, purpley colour. Right, I'm going to use this as a wash all over the lid. Now, with brown eyes, any bright colours are great. So I'm going to use this as a base. You've got a little bit of eyeliner on there. I'm going to just wash this over the eyelid, upwards towards the brows. I'm interested in this colour, it's really pretty. Yeah, it's um, a subscriber sent us this. I think it's a German brand. It's really I've never heard nice. of it before. We definitely don't have it here. Okay, right, now, this is the fun bit. Got an eyeliner. This one is a lovely purple eyeliner and this is from Makeup Forever. Now, could I have a fine liner brush or something? Because if you've got brown eyes, then bright colours look fabulous. Eyes down for me. That's great. And open. Look down. Okay, open for me. Look down in that way. And that's a great way to wear brights on brown eyes without it being a bit scary, I think. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you've got any ideas for anything you want to see in masterclasses, then please leave it in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and all of that stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Now, Nick's going to have to use a few different colours on Chi-Chi skin, because you find with the darker skin tones that often there's darker tones around the forehead and the chin and lighter tones through the center there. So if Nick were to match to the forehead, then Chi Chi would look really dark through the center of